Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at how to migrate from an NVDS to a VDS using the built-in NSXT manager tool. Now this is available starting in version 3.1. So if you're on an older version, there are some different ways to migrate. In a nutshell, it really involves kind of landing them side by side, which is what I showed you in my last video. You can do it that way and then you just kind of move your VMs over manually, or you can automate it if you want to, that sort of thing, but it is possible. But I specifically wanna show you guys this new tool because I think it's pretty cool. So let's hop into the NSXT Manager and get right to the migration. Here we are inside of NSXT Manager and I have two hosts. I have 254.74 and 254.75 inside of this compute cluster right here. Now, if we look over at the host switches, if we click this one, we see that we have type NVDS. We have an NSX host switch, that's the name here. And if we close that one, look at the other one we also have an NVDS here and the name on this one is NVDS-test which really the name isn't that relevant to this conversation now let's go ahead and migrate these so I'm actually gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and flip over to vCenter because I want to watch it from here so right now what we're doing is we're just looking at 254.75 so I just picked one of them at random and we can see the NVDS is here so let's go ahead and just check our configuration here okay so I have a I believe this is just a stale, so I, I had done this before. So just in case, let's go ahead and remove this, this one right here, because this is kind of what it'll look like actually after it migrates. Uh, so in this case, there we go, we're looking at this host here. Now let's go ahead and do that migration. Um, and again, I'm gonna leave this right here. So to do the migration, you're gonna need to SSH into your NSXT manager and everything will be done from there. The syntax is pretty straightforward. You're gonna do VDS, and if you do a question mark, you'll see you only have one option, which is VDS-migrate. So if you do VDS-migrate dash dash help, you'll actually see you have some options here. And actually, that's a Linux, a Linux habit right here, command not found. The funny thing is I've actually used this command a bunch, and that's the first time I realized that it's not actually a real command. So I guess in that case, I could do something like VDS-migrate nerdy tech yeah, there you go, it's gonna give me the same thing. So anyway, you learn something new every day. So continuing on to do the migration, the first thing we need to do is do VDS migrate pre-check. And all we're looking for here is what's called a pre-check ID. You don't need to do anything with this. You're just looking to make sure we don't get any weird errors back or anything like that. This looks good. The next thing we're gonna do is VDS apply to apology. And I wanna be very clear here, this actually isn't changing anything in your environment yet. So it does seem like the words apply to apology would be making changes, but it's not actually uh, gonna go migrate my NVDS just yet. Okay, so that looks good. Now in this case, I'm gonna migrate the entire cluster and I'm gonna use the cluster name because I don't really know the cluster ID, so this is a lot simpler. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in, VDS migrate ESXi cluster name. And the nice thing is here, you can use the friendly name of that cluster, which in my case is compute cluster right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. That'd be compute cluster. And all I'm gonna do at this point is hit enter. Now, just be warned, this actual migration takes quite a while, like long enough that I am seriously gonna pause this video and go get a Red Bull and I'll be back and I'll probably still have to wait a few minutes. So I would say realistically, we'll, we'll just call it 10 minutes or so. Would you do me a big favor? Would you grab a Red Bull and bring it to me? I'm really not lazy. I'm just, I'm doing a video. And if I get out of my chair, I'm gonna have to refocus my camera. Oh my goodness, okay. Thank you. That's why we have kids. All right, so we see here that 254.75 succeeded because we actually, we had an NVDS here. Now we see NSX switch CVDS. NVDS-test, which was the name of the old NVDS. So that looks like that worked. Now, if we see here, we have all kinds of crazy messages going on here, which tells me it failed on the other host. And I think I know why, but let's take a look at this. So it shows here one transport node migrated successfully, and it gives me a UUID. What does this mean? This means nothing to me because I don't speak hexadecimal. But what we can do is figure out what nodes this is. So uh, in this case, we don't care about the one that was successful. We care about the one that failed. Now, we can cheat a little bit because right below that, we see it shows IP addresses and we see the IP is 254.74, but we're gonna pretend we didn't see that. And I'm gonna show you how to find this without that. So in this case, let me just go ahead and open up my window a bit and we'll scroll back up. 
Okay, so we're gonna look at the one that failed and we're gonna highlight that UUID. There we go. And okay, so what we're gonna do is just get transport node and we're gonna paste in that UUID. And in this case, it formatted it really weird. So I'm gonna bring that four back over here. And I also need to take this off. Okay, so that looks good. So basically all I did was get transport node, then the UUID, then I'm gonna type status. If I do that, that will give me the IP of that transport node. So I can see here also, in addition to cheating and seeing it up, at, up here several times right here, I can see the IP of that transport node based on that UUID as well. So why did it fail? Well, let's look at this. If we go back to vCenter, we see there's a task here that's hung called enter maintenance mode for that node. And it says waiting for all VMs to be powered off or migrated in a DRS check, in a DRS cluster check, the faults page, blah, 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 blah. So our problem is really pretty simple. If we go to that host and we go to VMs, we have a bunch of VMs that are powered on and we don't have DRS enabled. So this is never going to work unless I power off these VMs. In my case, I don't want to power them off. So we were able to illustrate that the migration works successfully on 75, but I'm super lazy. I'm not powering off these VMs for right now. I'm using them for some other stuff, but hopefully this was clear. And it's a good reminder that you should have DRS before you do this anyway. Now, our final verification for that last host that we were successful with is to go back to NSXT manager. And now if we refresh, we should see that in the GUI, it will change. So where it said host switch before and it said NVDS, that should now reflect VDS. So if we go over here into our vCenter and expand our cluster, okay, so we were 254.75. If we go ahead and select that, we see, there we go. We see type is VDS and we see the name, which is CVDS NVDS dash test, which we saw in vCenter. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Obviously we had some lab gremlins, AKA Mike being super duper lazy, but either way, I hope you found it useful. That's all I have for you in this video. Take care until next time, Mike out.